So this is Catabolic Creek. This is Catabolic Creek, the creek that um, is a Christian boy. Yeah, this creek has uh, two bucks down. It goes all the way up, you can get it from way up. Uh, on the road, the rocks are wood, and then you can get it there. So this is here. You cross over this bridge into Christian Burg. This is Christian Burg. And the big Mighty Demerara. This is the old water wheel. Yep, this is the old water wheel boy. Look at that. Back in the day this used to be working boy. Yeah. This is what I saw, what's it? Old sawmill. Yeah, the old sawmill is right here. Mm -hmm. And the courthouse used to be right here. Yeah, yeah the courthouse was right there. It burnt, burnt down. Had a fire there. Yep. Yeah. Have a little history on it there. Constructed in 19, in 1800. Wow. The Christianburg Water Wheel, located on Burnham Drive, Christianburg Linden, was installed as a part of the hydro-powered sawmill on the plantation, sometime during the latter half of the 1800s. This hydro-powered sawmill is needed to improve production of logs and reducing the cost associated with it. It is regarded as one of the earliest engineering structures to be built in the town. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I remember coming and fish right here, right at the river there. With some good high marrow and cut back there, man. Nice place. It is a landmark. It is a landmark. One of the oldest engineer constructions in, in, in Linden. It awesome. ceased operations in the 1950s. However, the water wheel still remains as a tangible reminder of part of Linden's industrial heritage. So awesome. this is awesome. The health center in Christianburg. Primary school. We redid it and it looks awesome. This is a yes, this is the St. Matthew's Parish Presbyterian Church. I thought it was Anglican, it's not. And the Regional Agricultural Office in Region 10. There is a ball field, a play field at the back. This is the Christian Bird Nursery School. Right there. Play a lot of cricket at the back there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Have a water ambulance. So water taxis. We're parked at the Adams residence in Christianburg. There's a replica of the Sunny Chapman Walk. Lunch. Uh, lunch. Lunch. 
at his lunch meet a tragic end Gang Dora used to bring up passengers from Georgetown this before the highway was um, built this is how people used to traverse from Georgetown to Linden and back yeah but there was the a tragedy Georgetown. when it, it blew up yeah. killed a lot of people but it's nice that they have a little replica here mm -hmm. yeah this is in Christianburg yeah. local this. awesome so this is the Wesleyan Church this is the Wesleyan Church in Christianburg this is a church that me and Jackie got married many moons ago so this is actually a landmark for, for us too well this is the Blueberry Hill the Blueberry Hill is actually divided into two parts the Forest Hill and then, and then you go over the bridge this is the bridge so what? the first part is Chombi Hill Chombi Hill Chombi Hill Chombi Hill Chombi Hill Chombi Hill So down in the valley there this is where the trains used to run yeah. you carry the box set over from the mines over to the Mackenzie this is the second part of the hill this is the hill we used to walk to go to school daily yep we used to come up this hill to go to school multilateral school better known as multi our old high school yep as this high school is where me and Jackie went to school to I only spent two years here but before I left I Jackie had started going to the same school too so we could both say we went to the same high school And they are doing some renovations it's kind of different right now some glass front yes. uh, multi this what was one of the top schools in linden anyway. we get the close-up view of the school this used to be the big um, auditorium auditorium right here Yeah, this brings back a lot of memories, man, oh, wow. because... This to go down there. Yep. This was the office section. The yeah. canteen was below there. Mm -hmm. Then the next side was all the, uh, the, the classroom. And the technical drawing used to be back in the air. This fence they put up here, it's... It is blocking the um, the ball field. The ball field. the play field used to be right there. Yeah, we used to walk across there and go over to the shop and buy lunch and stuff. Yes. It's good to see this. I've yeah. seen this since we migrated. Since we yeah. left this school, I didn't think I ever came back. Well, this is actually coming through the back road going into Bucktown. Back of multilateral school going into Bucktown. Now, this is where they, they used to do a lot of bauxite mining back in the day. But a lot of people started living at the back here now. I know, remember back in the day, no houses were here, none. Now, there are houses all over. come through from back here to catch Bucktown or you can catch it from the main road going down to Christianburg yes. on the left. And this is down the hill. You can see all the hills over there, those those white sand, there's there's the remains of of Bauxite. Look, look, look. The, the alumina plant is way over on the other side. On the Mackenzie Shore. On the Mackenzie Shore. That, those houses we've seen way in the distance is the Major's Ward. Okay. Mm -hmm. Headed down to the hill to Yep. So, they do have activities, people 
all activities here on weekends where they, they will bring in music systems and bring in tents and all the, the uh, stuff to sell cold drinks. And Real stuff and cool stuff I think. Yeah, they might play a cricket game or two, football. And the water is the main attraction. Everybody get into the creek. Oh, Junior's telling me last night they had something here, so that's why the place looks like it's in a mess. So they didn't clean it up as yet. We're coming in a little early. Yeah, we're so early. Stuff. So, so look at yeah, normally this so would be clean. Inviting. Look at our water. Beautiful. I didn't walk with my swimming trunks, man. <laughs> Catabolic Creek, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is a, an awesome place to swim. This part right here is a deep section. This is a deep section right here. And over there is the kiddies area, shallow. Look at the water boil up there. And right over there on the next side, where that little inlet is, that's the hot water creek. That water that comes out there is hot. Yeah, warm, warm, warm. Imagine that, you, you get that water flowing out, that is hot. Yes, yes, if you go and sit there, you get warm water, man. And normally sometimes you see the fish swimming in here. You see small fishes in there, sometimes you see um, cabrishi. I'm seeing some patwa in there right now. Look right there, right there I'm seeing some patwa. A swordfish just swim out. Right there. There's some patwa right there, they're swimming out from me. Lovely looking patwa. Flies. And if you follow the road and go further down at the back, there's a place we call Tricoco. The next part of the creek that that we could go and swim also. Yeah, we used to go down to yeah, the Tree Coco. And then and, and Yeah, past those they have a, a, a next road gone into the jungle now um to Makaura, where they do timber. Okay. Down at the back there, yeah, way down. They do timber down at the back there. Oh yeah, if you go that way, you reach oh my walk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All that's down at the back there. We used to come down here and get um white tea. This is a fat poke tree. We got a couple on it and have a big two jacky. You them Feel so. Linden is known for lots of fat folk. Look, look, look. This is the fat folk. Mm. When you eat this, it's ha it have a nut inside. Oh man, let me see them. It have a nut, eat it and um, show them the nut, bite the seed and eat the nut. Nice fat folk. Yeah. So you can eat a peel the skin like this. Peel yeah, The white people will. <laughs> now some of the skin is be stained if it isn't fully ripe. Or you could just eat the skin. Some is be when it's fully ripe, it'll be very very nice. Yeah. But not fully ripe sometimes it's stained. Yeah, this the skin is carry a lot of the stain in it. And there's the nut there's in the nut. seed. There's a nut there that you eat. Mm-hmm. Oh, that nut. It's nice and milky and sweet. We grew up eating this a whole lot. Mm -hmm. This um papo grows a lot in Leden.
And this is the road heading into Blue Lake. On the Mackenzie Shore. This is a, a mine out area. As you could see there from those overboarding. But it looks so nice. All the little hills and sand hills and you could run up there and run down or flick down. Rule down. Yeah, nice, real nice looking area, man. So. There's another tourist location in Linden. Yeah, they, they do be doing a lot of activities here now. Kayaking, jet skiing, swimming. Kite flying. Picnicking, wedding pictures. You know, just you could come and camp out. And this, this, um, this blue lake is close to the Karakara Creek. Yeah, you could come to the um, Karakara Creek and get in from there also. So, really nice area. Beautiful area. It is. Look at this panel, this beautiful view you can see walking down. A nice breeze coming off. You could you could play some cricket here, some football, some tennis. You could come out here and barbecue, do your grilling, picnic, nice swimming, everything. This is a big lake. Really clear water. Waters like the ocean, the blue. A nice breeze. Yeah, it's nice and breezy. I could remember one time we came here. Jackie's sister, Denise, our husband. It was a boxing ring because they had a. Some, yes, some boxing matches here. So me and him get into that ring, and we had a little, a little go at it. Light. I I came out as a lightweight champion, but he had a few pounds extra than me, so he actually won. He actually won that bout. But I want a rematch. I'm gonna challenge him to a rematch. Jag, when you see this video, give me a call. Let me know when is the rematch, my friend. So this is the Blue Lake. Crystal clear water. These are fat coat trees, the small ones. And if you notice the rocks there, like that little cliff, you see it's wet. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's uh, spring water draining there all the time. So it's feeding into the lake. Yes. The spring water is coming into the lake. This is a natural spring. Coming out of the hills. Look at this. Spring water. Clear, clean, limestone. Water coming out from the hills, look at that. Yep. Yeah, this is nice, clean, clear water, boy. Oh. So 
this is a view from a different angle. Yeah, this is high up. The rain is about to step in a little. But this, you know, the, the view, the scenery is, is awesome. Real nice, man. Real nice. And it's getting windy. So there's another angle area of the Blue Lake. See that? This is this area looks very deep. This is the deep end. This is the deep end. Remember that flat area there looks kind of shallow. Yeah. I guess you could swim there. So, I guess let's go out a little look as I can see the bottom. Is the bottom or the sun? I don't know. Looks kind of deep to me. Yeah, maybe it's the, the, the cloud reflecting, looking like if it's the bottom, but it's not the bottom. Yeah. This is a nice big, we're getting to see the whole white body of the lake from this. Yes. Yeah, the flat area. Yeah, here more solid and more rain here comes the rain so this is the railroad buildings of yesteryear these trains were the trains that they used to use to bring the bauxite out of the mines and take it to the bauxite plant two, two engines left here that used to be the tower. Jackie's brother Mark used to work here. Yeah, the rail lines right there, all the trains. So that's what's left of it now. It's just to, I guess, to go recite right now. Yeah, this is an uh, old drag line bucket left here. This is what they used to use to. Um, Take off the overboard and dig out the bauxite. Yeah, the walking drag line. You see that big bucket? So this is right now is just a sort of attractions. Yeah. This is the road that leads to the mines. The mines. We are in Wutuka right now. This is Wutuka. Yeah, man, Wutuka. I had a lot of friends who used to live in Utuko. This is the primary school, Utuko Day Primary School. It was one of the leading primary schools back in the day. The nursery school, the Wutuka Day nursery, Wutuka nursery school. Okay, well, this is going to Fraser Ross. This area is Fraser Ross. Could either drive around here and come around right away as a big circle, or you could drive around here. See that? My good friend Warren Joseph used to live up here. Better known as Paco. My cousin Nola used to live up here. <laughs> so this is Ray's dress.
There we go. Up the hill, that is Richmond Hill. Oh, the Sarajus used to live up here too, my, my good buddy, David. Um, Shelly Singh, they used to live up here. Um, one time, uh, I know Junior, the, um, Tunston Barrow used to live up here. Mm. Tunston Barrow had a big house up here. He was a C was the CEO of um, the bauxite plant at one time. It's a nice house. Yeah, so we're up Richmond Hill. And this is some of the sceneries from the mine out areas. This is, this is the areas where the bauxite was mined out already. Look at that. A lot of lakes down there. Yes, there's a lot of water, uh, small lakes down there. Only the cool water. Mm -hmm. See the trucks carrying box right there? They bring it down out of the mines, carrying it to the plant. Because they use the trains no more. Way in the distance in the background there we can see a meter's ward too. That is eh? Real nice place. This is real nice scenery here. Mine out areas. Really, really looks nice. You see the different textures of the soil, sand, clay, you know, all the different textures looks really nice. Of the water looking down. Yeah, the nice water. Now we were all the way over on the other side of the Blue Lake. Yeah, over that next hill there, behind that next hill is the Blue Lake. Way over that side. And the mining road is behind here where the trucks are right now up and down carrying bauxite to the plant. Deep they have to go to get the box right out. Yeah. Yeah, there's got to go really deep. Um, our bauxite is one of the richest bauxites in the world, but it's one of the deepest bauxites also. Mm -hmm. I think um, Jamaica bauxite is only under 10 feet of overboard. So it's easy accessible, but our own is very deep. So we have to remove a lot of overboard to get to it. We're working on the road too. So we're still in Wutuka. And this is Pastor Selwyn's house. Ah, church. His house of God. His house of God. This is a lovely, lovely church. Beautiful building. Pastor Selwyn Sills. Really nice. One of the biggest, largest church in London. Nice. Yes, this is the Wutuka guest house here, right here. There's a lovely pool there. I remember we used to come up at this pool and swim every night. What a drain in the pool. Yeah, the drain in the pool right now. We used to come at this pool and swim, uh, me and my good friend Paco. Swim there till 12 o'clock in the night, then go home. And up here, they have a, a lot of um, rooms to rent, and they have a big hall that keeps a lot of receptions weddings, and parties, and birthdays, and you name it. So, and they built a nice deck over the water there. You could go and sit and some good drinks and it's a nice breeze boardwalk bauxite ships loading at the, at the dock that's a bauxite plant there they're loading up the 
carry out some Come back side.